Alright guys, I'll be showing you how to update the M30 for it to work on the 1.4 DSi. F first you need to download the fcore file and place it into the root of the micro SD. After that you... It has to be in the root. After that you have to put the micro SD back inside the M3 and you get the and get the micro as the USB adapter. There's a little hole here where you put the USB and make sure where the arrow is you have to plug it in here. The arrow has to face this side. So let's put it in. Alright, it's in. After that you have to put it into some USB power thing. So I'll, I'll be just using my PS2. So turn it on, and as you can see it's blinking now, that means it's updating. You have to wait a little bit, it takes like 20-30 seconds. You don't have to put it into a computer, you could put it into anything, so yeah, like I'm using my PS2. Okay, it seems to be done. Take it out and now take your DS Lite or DSi, doesn't matter. Put it in. Turn it on. And you will see Danny Phantom icon. That means it worked. Press it and you're gonna go to the M3 real menu. See? Everything works. Thank you.